Hi everyone, I'm Tristan and welcome to another weekly Market Pulse. Well, what a week it has been in Melbourne in the real estate sector. If you look at the clearance rates on the weekend at 57%, what we have seen, if anything, off the back of the 60 Minutes news story seven days ago, is that there is a stabilisation in the market at the moment with the clearance rates really staying at the same level around 57 to 60% over the course of the last two to three months. Now off the back of that, if we look at Yarraville as a case study from 1998 to 2008, in that 10 year period, Yarraville had a growth of around 136%. And then obviously the GFC hit, and then from 2008 to where we stand now in 2018, Yarraville has had a further growth of 77%. Now what does this mean for buyers coming into the spring market? Certainly everyone agrees that it is a great time to be looking to buy. Buying conditions have probably been the best they have since really 2012. Obviously if you've got pre-approval and can bid at an auction, you're in a great position to secure your next property. Now, if we look forward towards the end of the year, it's really going to be a true test given the AFL Grand Final is this weekend and the Mighty Pies are in the Grand Final for the first time since 2011. There will be a minimal number of auctions in at Melbourne with the clearance rates probably not even going to be recorded. However, what we will see off the back of last Saturday being a Super Saturday is that the following weekend will more than likely be another Super Saturday. There's certainly a lot of appetite out there for buyers at the moment to buy the right property if you are looking at potentially obviously setting a reserve close to the upper end of what you're quoting if not in the range however if you are going a bit aggressive on price trying to get a bit of a higher price you may miss the market and this is a perfect example of a number of properties we had start on the weekend where vendors are very realistic around the price they want to achieve with some of those properties getting between 25 to 30 groups through that first open home we look forward to seeing you on next week's weekly market pulse and go pies